After this massacre of a mathematics exam, students are now extremely confused as to what to do and how to prepare for this advanced mathematics exam that is going to come on 4th of March. Most of the students are now demoralized and I have been seeing this in my comment section. All the students are asking that what will we do in the advanced maths because of what has happened in the mathematics exam. So in this video, I'm going to try and tell you my suggestions as to what I think you should be doing if I were in your position, what I would be doing before moving on to this examination. So here are my points. Point number one is do not leave any page unturned. All the sums from the exercise, from the examples and all the theorems go and look at all of this go through all of this you cannot miss a single thing if it had been any other year or any other normal year of hslc examinations i would have told you go through the test papers go through the question banks because if you do these two then you will get the common questions you will get the important topics and accordingly you can prepare for the final examination but because of what has happened in the mathematics exam now we don't know what actually Sheva is looking for, what actually they have in their mind before preparing a question paper. So now what you can do is that as the question paper is not in your hand, it is not in our hands, it is not in our control. So something that is not in our control cannot be something that we should be worrying about. So stop worrying about what is going to happen in the examination. Rather, focus on what is in your control. Your control is your main book. If you go through each and everything in your main book, then you can be sure that 100% anything comes from the main book, I'll be able to do it. Of course, in three days, you cannot go for all the reference books as well. So rather than focusing on the outer stuff, focus on the inner stuff. Your main book is your holy grail right now. So go through each and everything. Don't miss a theorem. Don't miss the examples and don't miss the exercise questions. Go through them. Do all the sums that are available. I know it is impossible to complete all the sums. You only have 72 hours, but hope you get my point. Do the ones that you are not really confident about, solve them. The others, you can go through them as you go along the exercises. Examples you must be doing, theorems you must be solving. So I hope I'm making my point clear. I'm repeating these things because that is what you need to do at this point of time. There is no other way out, okay? Of course, I think you should still go for test papers and question banks as well because keeping in mind that one of the exams has been a massacre, I don't think so that all the other question papers will be like this. So we have seen English, social science, science, maths and language paper MIL and I don't think the other questions were as from English SST, even science also, it was not as bad as the mathematics. Yes, the questions were a bit twisted in science, but they were not out of syllabus or something that will blow your mind off. So I don't think the advanced maths question paper is going to be like the mathematics, but, but since we don't have any confirmation on that, of course we will not because we are not doing anything out of the legal stuff. So we have, since we are not doing anything illegal, we will not be able to know what the question paper is going to be. But keeping in mind that it may be anything from the book, so don't leave anything unturned. Go for everything. Don't focus on anything else. Don't focus on what people are saying, what you are feeling inside about the question paper. What happens in the examination hall will happen in the examination hall. As of now, focus on the main book. That will be my only suggestion to you. Main book, main book, main book. I hope you get a question paper that is relevant. It may be hard, it may be easy, but questions, I hope it will be quite relevant questions and not as irrelevant as in case of general mathematics. I wish you all the very best and I hope you get the marks that you deserve. Thank you everyone. Cheers.